Chris is working on his brake pads this morning. Hey. <laughs> he already did one side. It was super fast. I'm impressed. I'm pretty much just standing here looking pretty. <laughs> Doing a good job too, man. And bringing him coffee. <laughs> the plan was to help him, but he doesn't really need help. <laughs> it's not a two person job. Uh, anyways, just thought I'd show show him in his prime here. <laughs> Since it's Super Bowl Sunday, I'm going to be making the buffalo chicken dip that I've made a couple of years now for Super Bowl. And then we're also going to have some veggie um, dip and chips and burgers, hot dogs, and buffalo wings. Or just chicken wings on the barbecue. So anyways, this is how I make my buffalo chicken dip. There are tons of different ways to do it. You can do it in a skillet. I'm going to do it in our crock pot. So I shred it up two cups of rotisserie chicken. You can use two cans of chicken, but I prefer fresh chicken. It tastes so much better. So two cups of rotisserie chicken. I'm gonna do about a tablespoon of garlic, minced garlic, one eight ounce of cream cheese. Then you do a fourth of a cup. Now I do a fourth of a cup of sour cream with some ranch for a little bit more flavor. An entire bag of medium cheddar cheese. Again, I believe this might be eight ounces. I don't know. Yeah, eight ounces. So two cups cheddar cheese. And then I do a half a cup, but again, I do um, mix these. So kind of a fourth of a cup, fourth of a cup. Last year, I just did the buffalo wing sauce from Frank's, but this time I'm going to do a fourth of a cup of each of those. And that's it. And you kind of mix it together, set it and forget it, <laughs> let it slow cook. And then it's like this most amazing dip. I love it. Got the snacks going. Apparently, this wok is pretty spicy, it's according to daddy -o. It's not spicy at all. Got it at um, Winco. I think for a second. We got the buffalo dip going. It's still needing to heat up some more. All right. Buffalo chicken dip is ready. Yum. Woohoo! totally bad lighting and Super Bowl is over, which I was happy about who won. I thought it was a really great game. Anybody else, it was just like back and forth and close score. It was awesome. Um, but I wanted to share with you guys, I totally forgot to show you what I was wearing. I just have this shirt on because I only have Cardinals gear um, because that's the only team I really root for ever. So I didn't have anything really to wear for Super Bowl. So I just wore this shirt I got from Victoria's Secret a while ago. I also forgot to vlog that we had hot dogs and hamburgers, um, hot dogs, hamburgers, and chicken wings. I totally failed on vlogging all the food. It just got crazy and fun with the family, and yeah, totally didn't vlog anyone, I don't think, except the food. <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to show you my, my fun yes. shirt. And I love them. Look at Lucy. She's cold. You spend a bit of Are you cold, baby? Nice, big, lashes, you like the really heat? Good. But these are good every day. She and loves the heat. Lashes. Hey guys, I just met up with my hubby, Chris, for some lunch. It's Monday. Um, I have off on Mondays to get things done. and I, I definitely have a long list of things to do. I actually filmed this morning so that I can have another video go up on Thursday for you guys, which you would have already seen by now. But um, he asked me to meet him for lunch and I was like, yeah, I'm going to do that. I want to spend time with him. So I just did that and now I'm going to go to Walgreens and need to pick up her prescription and then meet up with Mama B. The lip that I have on today is from Too Faced. I love these lipsticks. They're matte, they're full coverage, they're beautiful. It's Doll Face and it's a Too Faced peach lipstick line. They smell so good. I love these. Okay, we're over here bringing some stuff to Brian's house. I thought I'd show you guys real quick that sand door. 
his pup. Um, he got a, a new two story. I don't know, kind of rustic contemporary. So over here he has a, a den. He's already, he has a lot to set up still, but he has his little computer desk area. It's hard to show you how, how big it is, but he's got like a double door den like me. His flooring is the same as mine, like the tile, but it's different coloring. So this has more like brownish grays to it. And then over here is a half bath. So he has gray cabinets where I have white cabinets and his are a little more um, contemporary looking. And then when you walk over here, he has a nice big open space. So he has some recliner chairs here. He's got some new furniture. I really like this. I really like this piece. Then his table is different. It's like higher up. He's gonna have chairs that go with it too but it has a bench, but it's like a higher bench. Sandra's following me. Hi, babies. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> and then I really like his kitchen. It's nice and open too. Mama B's helping organize for him. Got double ovens, gas stove. It's got granite countertops like I do, but different, obviously a different kind of granite. This is like his little bar area. Sandor, <laughs> he's so funny, he's following me everywhere. <laughs> this is his pantry, which we're gonna help him organize in a second here. But see, it's kind of set up the same way um, like on both sides. All right, I'll show you the upstairs. Like going upstairs. All right, so he has like a little loft area as well, but it's kind of more enclosed in. These are nice. I didn't get to see his new furniture. He just got this new furniture. Ooh, these look comfy. I'm gonna sit on them. Ah, those are comfy. And here's this piece. That's cool. I like this piece. The lamps are cool too. He's got his TV hung up over here. This is looking really good. And then over here in the corner is his master bedroom. This is, he's had this furniture already. And then, got his other TV hung up too. Okay, coolest part about his house is the shower. This is like the one thing I'm jealous of. What? The shower is insane. So this whole part right here is like a little sitting area and then it's closed off over here. And then he has a rain shower. And then like the regular. Let me see if I can do it without it being through the glass. Oh, cool. And then this is his double sink area. So yeah, even though he has some similar colors as our house, as Chris and I's house, he definitely has it decorated very differently, like more rustic and contemporary. Then he has a nice big closet too. And you think I have a lot of clothes. Look at this color coordinated. I'm pretty impressed. Pretty impressed, Brian. Then he has his laundry room upstairs, which they're still bringing in his um, washer. He just has his dryer in here for now. I think this is just a linen closet, yeah. And then on the other side of the loft are two bedrooms. And, a, and another bathroom. So they both have walk-in closets. He has an amp over here, I don't know. He might make this his music room, I don't know. And then he has his, a guest room. He doesn't know if he's gonna have roommates yet or not. He's, he did have a roommate at his last house that he lived at. So yeah, really nice. All right, just helped him organize all his cabinet. Now he needs more jars there. <laughs> We might need more bins, but so far it looks so good. Good morning, you guys. It's Tuesday, and I'm actually about to um, finish getting ready. I totally slept in the same shirt that I wore yesterday. Yep, that happened. I got so tired. I ended up sleeping in my makeup, which I never do. I just, like, passed out. 
<laughs> I just got, I guess, really, really tired last night. Anyways, I just wanted to show you my eye makeup today. I did a very rose gold look. Mostly I used, I'm actually almost out. I'm going to be using this up soon. The Mally Beauty Bronze um, little crayon eyeshadow stick. So I used this mostly and I did use a 35O Morphe palette again. And then I did use a little bit of this Pixie Glitter Eyeshadow um, Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Rose Gold in the inner like half of my eye. And then I've been using the same mascaras to get kind of like a fake lash look, um, which has been the Maybelline Temptation, Total Temptation Mascara, and then the Tarte Tartist or Tartiste Mascara. My lip combo is what I'm most excited about today. I think it's so pretty. So I used Dirty Peach from Kylie Jenner, Liquid Lip. And then I also used that same lip liner that comes in the little kit together. And then I did put a little bit of the Too Faced Doll Face lipstick on just in the center. Like I wore this on its own yesterday, so you know what this looks like on its own, but just to make it a little more nude and not so peach. And then I put this Glossomer on from Chanel in number 377, cause I just wanted a little bit of um, gloss. I didn't want it to be completely matte today. So yeah, that is my look. And I gotta go finish it. Okay, so I have a bunch of boxes to share with you guys. Like, um, so some are like I have one subscription box, and I'm gonna go through these pretty quickly, um, because I don't want it to be like 30 extra minutes on the vlog. But I have been so bad at showing you guys these things, and they're really it's just so sweet that these companies sent me this, and I don't want to seem ungrateful and I want to be able to share it with you guys. Um, I'm going to start off with Pixie because I actually have two um, PR packages from them. So let's start with that. And this is going to be like very genuine unboxing because I have not seen any of this. So, okay. So this one's a big one. It says 20 years of glow. Oh my goodness. There's a lot in here. Look at all that. So in here we have a rose ceramide cream intensive moisturizer. I have never tried that. Their glow tonic, which has been one of my favorites for a very long time now. Um, and their glow mist, which I've tried both of those. And then the Eye Reflection Shadow Palette. I'm not sure if I have this, but if I already do, I'll make sure to gift it to you guys. And then Endless Silky Eye Pen, a liquid lip color and a glossy lip plumper, which their liquid lipsticks are some of my all-time favorites. Their glosses are nice too. They're not my favorite, but the liquid lips definitely are. Let me see. I don't know if I have this color or not. This is in Berry Beauty. So that's a really pretty color. Yeah, like I said, I don't know if I already have this color, but if I do, then ooh, that's pretty. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh. I really need to organize all of my giveaway stuff for you guys. And I'm gonna do like a few different random giveaways on Instagram. Um, so if you're not following me on Instagram, it's at honeybeephilosophy. I'll leave it here and I always have it linked below because um, I'll just do little mini giveaways all of the month of February. So box, they're so sweet and I do this almost every year. Oh, let me show you the box. Very pretty box too. Oh my goodness. There's so many in here. How nice. So happy to share the gift of glow with you. What a cute idea. So they have two smaller sizes here and they have a little tag that says, so happy to share the gift of glow with you to give to somebody. And then in the middle, it has a personalized one that says Melissa's glow tonic. So it's like a year's worth of glow tonic. Isn't that awesome? So I will for sure be giving these away to two of you, the glow tonics with other goodies, of course, on my Instagram. And actually, I'm also gonna be doing a giveaway with Built Bar on my Instagram. Um, so make sure, definitely make sure to be following me there on Instagram because I'm gonna be giving away an entire 18 bar 
pack um, of goodies for you guys. Any flavor you want, you get to pick any flavor you want. I actually have two boxy charms, and I think one is from December and one is from January. And I feel so horrible that I didn't share this sooner. But you guys know how much I absolutely adore boxy charm. If you're not already subscribed to the service, it's amazing. You get full size products. You always get your money's worth. Way over your money's worth, actually. And I have it linked down below for you guys. So um, there is a Too Faced Diamond Lights highlighter. I already have one of these, so this is for sure going in a giveaway, but I love these highlights. And you open it up and it has the most gorgeous reflective highlight. Now, depending on how I hold it in the light, you're gonna see different reflecting. It's like more gold with pink and purple. It's so cool. These are the coolest highlights. And we have so. Wander Beauty Trip for Two Blush and Bronzer Duo. I don't, I've not tried a ton of things from Wander Beauty and I've heard such great things about them, especially through uh, Kristen Game here on YouTube. Game too. Oh, this is perfect for travel. Look at that. Love that bronzer color. And that's a really pretty pink. Although I might end up giving this to Mama B because I don't really wear pink blushes that often. I always wear peachy blushes, but that bronzer is stunning. I can tell it's a really nice quality. Goodness, how much is that? So the Too Faced highlight goes for $36 and the Wander Beauty um, Trip for Two goes for $36 as well. You've already completely gone over what you pay for this box just from those two items and there's more. There is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. I have heard such good things about this that it smells delicious and that it makes your skin super hydrated. Oh my gosh, I think that's a full size too. Um, let's see, it is $22. Wow. Next we have the Grand a Grande Drama Intense Thickening Mascara with Castor Oil. And this goes for $25. It's an intense thickening mascara. Okay, always willing to try a new mascara out. And last but not least, we have Ace Beauty Scarlet Dusk Palette. Look at that. This goes for... $34.99. Whoa. Oh, these are so my colors. Look at those. So this Baxi Charm says Whimsy on it. Ooh, ooh. I hate when I accidentally read the card ahead of time. All full size products again, oh my goodness. Okay, so this first thing I have to open up first because it's so cool. It's from um, the Story Storybook Cosmetics Fairy Tales and it looks like a little Red Riding Hood book. Isn't that so cool? Oh my goodness, and it's an eyeshadow palette. Again, beautiful colors, I love that. And that goes for $35, then we have Elemis Beauty Pro Collagen Rose Facial Oil. Goes for $79. I can't believe that they have these kind of super expensive products. And these, oh my gosh. You guys, it smells so good. It really smells like roses, Pro Collagen Rose. I cannot wait to try this. It smells incredible. It's a soothing facial oil formulated with organic English rose extract, rose hip seed oil, roaring water kelp, and Padina Pavonica intense, intensely nourishes the skin. I'm gonna be trying this out this week for you guys. But just know that it smells super incredible. But I'm sure it does amazing things too for for the skin, oh, Ciate Marbled Light Illuminating Blusher. Look at that packaging, how cool is that? Oh, I love Ciate's packaging, it's so cute. Look at that, it's like mirrored. Hope you can see that. Ooh, see, okay, this kind of color, it's a little bit more of like a muted plummy pink. That looks super beautiful. Oh yeah, I will totally wear this. Let me see if I can get a good swatch going. Right here, that's beautiful. It feels really soft to the touch too, very velvety. I can't wait to try that. And then we have the Brow Bar True Brow Brow Makeover Kit. And then next we have the 
Seraphine or Seraphine Botanicals. And this is a lip exfoliator with radish extract. Ooh, I always like a lip exfoliator. I use one every morning. So the Ciate Marbled Blush was $26. The um, lip exfoliator is 24 and the brow makeover kit is 30. Do you see what I'm saying? Like you always get what way over what you pay for when it comes to boxy charms. Like I said, I will link them down below. Last but not least, this is a new subscription service to me and they reached out to me to show you guys and I thought it was such a good idea for Valentine's Day. It's the Empress Mimi London. It's Empress uh, Mimi.com. I will make sure to link them down below and they do like lingerie or really beautiful, sexy, feminine bra and underwear sets um, monthly. So I will say one thing that might be a little bit of a concern for me because I do have a large chest is that none of their stuff has underwire. So I think that these will be really nice for like, you know, feeling sexy at, at home, but I doubt that I would wear these out because I need a little underwire support. Um, but we'll see, maybe it'll surprise me. So look how beautiful this little card is. New Levy and Rose box is an ode to looking at life through rose tinted glasses and taking moments out of your day to simply stop and appreciate all the beauty in your life. Put the pretty set on first thing in the morning and let it understated, let its understated yet sultry elegance remind you to take a break during your no doubt busy day to stop and smell the roses. What a beautiful sentiment. Okay, so the first, oh my gosh, these are beautiful. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my goodness. I love that color. I love the lace. That is so pretty. And then it has a matching underwear. Isn't that pretty? So beautiful. And then there's a lavender set that I know Chris will love this one. Even more TMI probably for you guys, sorry. But he loves purple and I love pink. So this is like the perfect box. But look how cute that is. And these aren't see-through, thank goodness. They do have some opacity to them. I say thank goodness because these would even be really cute underneath things like so they can like peek out a little bit. Um, so beautiful. So this is more like a bodysuit. Look how pretty that is and it's sheer, but just like covers the, the goods. Wow, that's really pretty and very sexy. I could see wearing, totally having someone wear that out. I don't know if I'm that adventurous, but very, very beautiful and feminine. So thank you to them for sharing that with me. And you guys, um, if I have any coupon codes for any of this, I'll make sure to leave it down below for you guys. So far I have seven giveaways ready to go. I've just separate, separated them into these boxes and then I'll put a personalized card in them when I know who the winners are. But I'll probably do one one or two a week it just depends I have more in my beauty closet over there so definitely be on the lookout most of these will be on instagram but i will maybe do one or two in the month of february on my vlogs as well good morning you guys i just washed my hair and used the dyson air wrap and i wanted to show you how my hair looks when i use it i did clip it back so you can not tell as much on, on the volume on um the side but i didn't even use any volumizing products and i feel like it gives me so much like bounce and shine to my hair like look how shiny my hair looks and look how healthy my ends look and i have not um gotten a haircut in a very long time which i'm actually going to be scheduling a haircut today but anyways it's just so bouncy and voluminous i love it and I did pin it back a little bit today, just so it was out of my face as I'm doing my makeup and stuff, but um, I'm still loving my Dyson Airwrap so much because I feel like it has really made my hair so much healthier. Um, so usually I can get about two days out of this if I blow dry it, I mean, excuse me, if I um, hairspray it, and then the third day I'll curl it a little bit more, and then the fourth day I will put it up in a bun or a ponytail, and then I wash it that night. So I'll usually get four days out of my hair. Yeah, anyways, I just wanted to show you that really quick before I start doing my makeup and getting ready. So I had to finish my brow still, but I just wanted to show you guys, I love this lip color. I need to fix this corner a little. 
Um, but this is from Stila. This is the liquid lip in patina. I haven't worn this in forever. And I usually wouldn't wear this cool of a lip with a rose gold eye. I did this eye two days ago and I forgot how much I love a glittery rose gold eye. So I decided to do it again today. Um, but I kind of like this lip with this eye. It kind of brings out the, um, more purpley tones. I don't know, even though it's rose gold. What do you guys think? I really like it. <laughs> hey guys, we are off to dinner. Dinner and a movie, actually. Maybe? Hey dinner and a movie. And it's his choice this time around. And we're going to go see 1917. I actually wanted to see this too, though. I've heard it's really good. And we're going to go to sushi because we didn't get to have sushi last week. We didn't. What happened last week? We rushed to the movie and then we had In and Out because it was like the <laughs> only right. thing. That was fast and open that late after the movie, right? Yeah, it wasn't bad though. Look at our boat of sushi. So we got a fire roll, shrimp tempura. I forget what that one's called. I think that's the yellow tail. And then regular spicy tuna. And we have some edamame too. Hey guys, um, I have very natural makeup on today. I'm waiting to turn right now to go and get my nails done because they are definitely overgrown and I'm still gonna do like Valentine's Day themed nails today because Valentine's Day is next Friday and I think I'm gonna do like red, red and white um, instead of pink. I loved these nails though, they were so much fun. So um, yeah, I did really natural makeup today. I just have mascara on, a little bit of bronzer, like a bronzer blush and just concealer under my eyes and down my nose. My lip color, I didn't use a liner so it doesn't look like all perfect, but it's from Revlon. It's one of the crayons. Um, and I don't know if they sell those anymore. Okay, I gotta get moving because someone's about to be behind me, but I just wanted to say hi really quick. Okay guys, look how cute my nails are. Oh my gosh, I love it. I will make sure to um, tell you guys the name because I took pictures of the name of the polishes. It comes off so bright in camera, I don't know why. It's not that bright. <laughs> the red looks super bright in camera right now, but I just did. I just got a shipment of mixed, like ton of different flavors, and Mama B and I split the peanut butter box. You guys, I cannot wait to try these. They are more calories. The um, original bars are 110 calories. These are 170, but they also have more protein. Um, I'm not sure if they have, yeah, more, a little more fiber, a little more protein and looks like similar sugar content. So I am going to try this out on camera for you guys because I've never tried this and peanut butter and chocolate is my very favorite. Reese, Reese cups, like the, especially the seasonal ones, like the eggs or the hearts where they have a lot of peanut butter. Those are my favorite. So I'm really thinking I'm going to love this. So far I just got... Chocolate, oh my God. You guys, that is unreal. To me, it tastes a lot like the Trader Joe's dark chocolate peanut butter cups. Have you ever had those? But like it has a little more, you know, chewiness to it because it has that nougat center more than just peanut butter. But it's amazing. I'm gonna save the rest of this bar for like my dessert tonight because I'm going to make a recipe right now for you guys. I'm making a video today, um, actually all week, on my favorite low calorie, fast and easy recipes for the week that I make all the time. So this one's actually a newer one that I haven't made a ton, um, but I'll show you the completed product, product, but I'm not gonna give the recipe here since I'm gonna have a whole separate video on that later, um, either at the end of next week or the beginning of the following week. So be on the lookout for that.